Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Max Tu, an events host and singer. Hope you are all doing well wherever you are right now. Thank you for dropping by. And I hope you stay with me up to the very end of this video. Before anything else, please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. And don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, kindly check out the link above. Narito Ako is considered to be one of the most iconic songs associated with Asia songbird Miss Regine Velasquez. But I actually read somewhere that this song wasn't originally made for her, yet she was the one who popularized it. So think I Will Always Love You of Whitney Houston, which was originally made by and for country singer Dolly Parton. So it would be interesting to listen to this version of Narito Ako by pop star royalty Miss Sara Geronimo. What will be her take on this iconic song? Let's get right to the video. I gotta pause right away. Number one, she looks gorgeous. Number two, I'm loving her ad libs. Sounds very relaxed, uh, very pleasing to the ears, and it's not too much. Um, just right for the beginning of a song, just enough to set the mood of this performance. Her low notes are great, her head voice is equally delightful, and I kind of like the breathiness in between her lines, creating a very dramatic effect. It's a nice start. Let's move forward. I liked how she changed the melody of some parts of the song because uh, with such an iconic song like this, Narito Ako, it would be kind of predictable if she went the usual route. But let's see where she takes this song to as we go along. So I'm very, very curious. Let's continue to play the video. Narito. Did you just hear her vocal fry? Just gorgeous. Narito ako umaawit. We normally use it to emphasize an emotion, and she definitely succeeded in doing so. I love how she sounds here. Soothing and then suddenly switching up her volume, her projection, 
And again, her ad libs are very, very decent, not too showy, just enough to convey her emotions. Moving on. I live for this kind of dramatic pauses. Just beautiful. Also, even if she did change the melody of some portions of the song, it didn't sound forced. Meaning, it still sounded like narito ako, but with a twist. Loving it so far. Wow, look at her gorgeous curves. Very sexy, yet still exuding a lot of elegance and class. And that gown from the waist up suits her very, very well. I just hope that they give us a whole body shot somewhere in the video so we can see the entire ensemble. Let's move on. Very nice support there. And I'm also digging the light accompaniment so that we can just focus on her golden voice and its resonance. Let's continue. Again, a very dramatic moment there. And as usual, very nice control and support. Flawless shift from chest to head voice, impeccable. Let's continue to watch this. Gorgeous ad libs, I must say. Very, very sultry. Also, I'm quite impressed with her vocal agility. Her low notes and mid notes are to die for. Let's go back to the video. I wasn't expecting her to put in that much emotions in her ad libs. And I like it. She is doing a marvelous job. Because oftentimes when people do ad libs, it seems like they just want to show off. And sometimes they're not even needed. But in her case, she used it to her advantage. Her belts sound very, very good. And again, she is amazing when she flips back and forth from chest to head, head to chest. Very smooth transitions. It takes a lot of control to be able to pull that off in a very clean manner, to be able to preserve the integrity of both tones. And I'm kind of hearing some Beyonce in there, which is interesting. Sounds great.
quite a lot of E5s there. And I must say, she pulled them off rather nicely. Let's continue. It just occurred to me now that all this time she was sitting while singing. She's sitting down while singing. And that's not the easiest thing to do, especially if you need to belt out some notes. Try it yourself. It's definitely easier when you're standing straight. Incredible. I wasn't expecting that ending, to be honest. She went for a whole different direction with that note. Initially, I thought she went off key, but listening to the chords of the accompaniment carefully, she actually got it right. It's just a whole different direction. I like this version. I'm not used to it because I've heard the original version so many times. And most often than not, when people do a cover of this song, they try to imitate Regine's style. Sometimes they get it right, oftentimes they don't. I like the fact that Sarah was able to interpret this song, this iconic song, and made it her own. She certainly gave a whole different flavor that is otherwise much covered tune. She was able to make it sound unpredictable, which from an artist's point of view, I can appreciate very much. If you ask my humble opinion, I would say that this is a brilliant rendition. It's different, it's unexpected, and it's heartfelt. But tell me down in the comment section if you like this version of Narito Ako or not. But remember, please keep your comments respectful. We can choose to agree or disagree with one another, but at the same time, let us respect each other's points of view. With that, thank you all for watching, and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxTube. Stay safe, healthy, and happy everyone.